at this moment, Texas has a, an excess of 15,000 megawatts of power available for people across the entire state. That said, there are almost 5,000 Texans without power right now. That same concept may happen during the course of this particular winter storm, and there are a variety of reasons why people may lose power. It could be that power lines are down, power lines by the company that customers enter into contracts with. Those power lines could go down because a tree falls on the power lines, and the power lines are no longer able at that particular time to deliver power to a home. That's what those uh, transmission companies that deliver power to your house, it's their job to make sure that they get those power lines back up and running again. The same thing could happen during a winter storm. It could be either ice on power lines that would cause a power line to go down, or it could be ice on trees that causes a tree to fall in, on power lines and cause the power line to go down. That doesn't mean that there are challenges with the power grid in the state of Texas. It means that for a short period of time, uh, a particular neighborhood may be without power, but know that your local power company that you have contracted with is working to make sure uh, that that power will, will be restored quickly, even though there may not be a problem with the Texas power grid itself. Uh, ERCOT, uh, and uh, the head of ERCOT will tell you more about this shortly, but uh, last Friday ERCOT issued an operating condition notice for forecast cold weather starting tomorrow. Uh, yesterday, uh, the, the forecast for electricity demand showed uh, demand for electricity uh, that may have been less than some earlier forecast. Uh, the change in forecast is driven by things like changing weather predictions. Uh, and as the weather forecast become more clear, so will predictions uh, for the amount of electricity demand. ERCOT has not yet requested uh, enforcement discretion from TCQ or the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, though they are prepared to do so as the week progresses if the need arises. And ERCOT is using a conservative approach to grid management and forecast to make sure that they are prepared. Uh, it's our understanding, as we discussed just moments before coming out here, uh, that the, the time during the course of this winter storm, when we are expecting the highest demand for power from the power grid, is going to be on Friday morning. Today, right now, uh, the prognostication is that ERCOT will have an excess of 15,000 megawatts of power available even at the time of highest demand. So ERCOT is well prepared for conditions as they currently stand, but remains flexible in order to be able to be responsive to power demand needs. Uh, the Railroad Commission, and again, uh, uh, Jim Wright of the Railroad Commission will tell you more, but top line, the Railroad Commission conducted operational calls with local gas distribution companies major gas producers and pipeline operators throughout the state yesterday. All are prepared for any potential inclement weather and do not anticipate any significant operational challenges. The Railroad Commission has uh, inspected intrastate underground natural gas storage facilities and they also are anticipating no weather related limitations. Uh, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, uh, they uh, have um, deployed their emergency management support team, their disaster response strike teams, and emergency response hazmat contractors. They're all on standby uh, to assist local governments with any air, water, or waste-related issues, including drinking water, wastewater issues, and uh, emergency response activities. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality has notified public drinking water and wastewater systems about steps to take in advance of approaching winter weather. They also are working with ERCOT uh, on uh, uh, TCEQ's power emergency procedures, especially as they could apply to power generators. A work group has been created to screen emissions reports for cold weather related conditions. TCEQ uh, also uh, has contacted EPA Region 6 to begin coordination of any possible response activities uh, and uh, response requests. 